Hey everybody, good morning. It's uh, about 5.50 in the morning and I just pulled up to the flea market here. Um, there is about maybe 15 cars in front of me. So I will most likely be at the very end of the first row or at the beginning of the second row. Um, I think that's a pretty good spot to be in. You know, people come in or most people are going to come in through the entrance of the flea market. So being at the very beginning is good because uh, the further along you go, for most people, you know, they're going to get more tired from doing so much walking. But at the same time, thankfully here, we have, a, we have I would say, more of a small, medium-sized flea market. So it's not really too big compared to others that I've been to. There's some flea markets that can just be massive, just massively big, and you're going to be walking all day long. Even with these smaller flea markets, though, you could be here for quite a while, just looking around, waiting for other vendors to show up. Uh, even sometimes vendors will take out things late in the day, or like I said, they'll be showing up later in the day. So it's good to wait, even if you show up really early. If you have nothing else to do, or if you don't have any other places to go to, it's good to wait at least a few hours at the same flea market because uh, new people are going to be coming in and things that you didn't see early in the day, you might be seeing newer things later on in the day. So a little bit about this flea market, as I already mentioned, it's more of a uh, medium sized to small, more and more on the smaller side, and it's only open one day a week. On Sundays uh, it's gonna open at 630 so everyone starts coming in before that the closer it gets to 630 more and more people start coming in and lining up quickly uh, you can either choose to line up if you are a vendor or you can get wait in the parking lot and wait for all the vendors to start setting up which is uh, which is what some people will do um, of course, the first people in line get to set up first, so there's a little bit of an advantage to, uh, to being first in line, of course. Uh, along with, you're at the very entrance, you'll, you're going to set up at the very entrance of the flea market. So, um, yeah, this flea, market opens, this flea market opens once a week on Sundays. Others could be open Monday, Tuesday. Others could be open the whole week, uh, maybe five days of the week from Wednesday to Sunday, Thursday to Sunday. Um, some of them are only open, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm trying to see what's going on over here. All right, so the things that we took with us today, uh, we definitely have a lot, a lot of clothes. I got the 50 cents clothes uh, of just all t-shirts, and then I got pants that are a dollar, and those are always big sellers. Uh, clothes is very important. Uh, so people are always going to need clothes. So if you have clothes and it's decent clothes, uh, you can sell it but it needs to depend on the style too. Uh, there's certain styles that people are gonna look for. There's certain clothes that they want and don't want at the time. The seasons of the month also play a very big part. Probably not gonna be selling too much winter clothes in the summer. Not gonna be selling too much summer clothes in the winter. There's cycles to the markets. It's just like any other business. Uh, every business plans these things out. If you go into Walmart, they're going to have plans for every month of the year. They're going to have things out for Valentine's Day, for Walmart, for Halloween, for Christmas. Some of the bigger, those are some of the bigger holidays. But they might have other things out for back to school. Always having specials, clearance. So if you're trying to sell at the flea market, you can definitely learn a lot from some of these bigger stores and what they're doing. There's so much thought that's put behind into all the single items that go on every single shelf. And these big businesses, they're successful because they know what they're doing. They have a very good idea of what they're doing. 
because if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to be in business for very long. It's tough out there. There's a lot of competition and the markets are always changing. Now I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to take a little bit of video once I get all my stands set up. Uh, I'm still very new to making all these videos, to recording, to setting up, to lighting. It's been a learning experience these past three or four days. Uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, I didn't even know how to load up videos onto YouTube. I was really, really struggling with that. So it's good to learn. And I feel like I've been learning quickly, but there's still a lot to improve on. And um, I'm going to be trying to take a video after I set up or maybe even during I set up because there's quite a few things that I need to set up. I got uh, the tables, the tents. If you're coming out to the flea market, you definitely need to bring a tent. Bring a tent. It's going to be hot unless unless you know it's not going to be hot, but you can you can't predict the weather either. The weather can change very instantly, especially because we're here in Texas. One second it can be hot and sunny, and then the next it can be rainy and cold. Uh, we're close to the bay here, so it's always, always very windy. If we're bringing out tents, you need to bring some, some weights to weigh them down. If not, your tent is going to get destroyed. It's going to fly away. It's going to hurt someone because it's moving so much. So you definitely need to bring down some weights to make sure that your tent doesn't doesn't break and fly away and hurt someone. Um, back to what I was saying though. Um, yeah, I want to try filming some video as I set up or at least after I set up to show you what I'm going to have on my tables. One of the other things that you have to consider is that every single market is different from city to city, from town to town. Uh, even from one part of the city to the next part of the city, uh, from state to state, from coast to coast, every single market is different. And in every market, people are looking for different things. What sells at this flea market may not sell at the other flea market. Uh, so it takes a while. It takes experience and it just takes showing up every weekend to really understand what flea market you're at and what you need to bring to sell. But of course, every vendor is entitled to bring whatever they'd like. And there's so many ways to make money at the flea market. You can sell food, you can sell goods, you can sell used things, you can sell new things. Uh, it just goes on and on. So just understand, you have to understand more importantly, uh, what flea market you're coming to and what the people are looking for. And of course, uh, how much they're willing to pay for it. So that was my little uh, breakdown of the flea market, some of my thoughts. Uh, I'm going to get ready because I should be going in in about 20 minutes or so already. But uh, it was nice to, to talk to you all this morning. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.